hi this is harish here welcome to db2 luw tips and tricks video tutorial part 132 in this uh, tutorial or the tip that i wanted to provide you is if you are getting locked by multiple log chains in the archive log location or folder no retrieve class will rescue you during the roll forward time so that that's the tip that i wanted to provide you the scripts that i'm using the data files that i'm using are available for free download at db2 luw academy dot blogspot dot in <clears throat> please subscribe to my youtube channel youtube dot com slash db2 luw academy you can reach me at db2 academy at gmail dot com this slide talks about the problem scenario and the solution so the problem scenario is you have a database with uh, multiple archive log chain folders so if you have particularly like a disk uh, log archival strategy you'll find that like for example home db2 nst1 ar archival logs inside that node 00 log stream the standard structure inside that you will find c000 c0001 like and so on so mul these are like individual log chain folders and these are called multiple log chain folders so each restore will create one log chain folder for you and um when you enable basically you from the like from a circular logging to archival logging so it will be like c0000 and suppose if your backup is in a old log chain for example say c000 in our case and i wanted to do a restore and roll forward to a specific log chain using that backup image so then i'll have to restrict it right so what happens is uh, if i don't give anything like the default action uh, or even if i provide the overflow log path during the restore and roll forward i cannot basically restrict it to that particular log chain because the the default action is to search and move to the latest log chain so what it will do is it will do the backup it so if you are using the backup image it will do the restore and when the roll forward happens it will complete all the log files which are there in c00 and it will go look for the next log file in c001 c002 c003 and so on and sometimes these log chains may not be compatible with each other so you might get some incompatibility error okay so how do you how do you then uh, say like or how do you say to db2 to stop looking for log files in the archive location so that is using the no retrieve class during the roll forward command if this is all like a little bit um, vague or confusing let's go to the examples it will be very clear for us as usual i'm using a virtual box here so this is my uh mx linux system it's again a ubuntu based uh, derivative so here db2 is there and um and here if you can look at this home db2 nst1 so here i have a backup image hawt hot is the database and home db2 nst1 arc logs is the archival location obviously and inside that instance name inside that the database name inside that node 0 this is the standard structure log stream so this is the log chain that i'm talking about so when i enable the archive logging for the first time you will have c00 so i did that i ran through so many transactions and i have up to 35 yard log so after that say for example for some reason database crashed so what do you do you will again do a restore and let's say even if the crash recovery is not working okay so you do a restore then you will create a c001 so again i am doing like that there could be overlap of log files between these various log chains here see now for example 35 and 36 right and so in c002 i have the 36 log file whereas in c00 i have only up to 35 so if i want to do a restore and i want to restore the database as the state as it was up to this 35.log right how will i do that because if i don't give anything or even if i give this particular location as the overflow log path what db2 will do is go to this c00 pick up this 36.log and it's going to say if it is compatible you are fine but if it is not compatible it's going to say hey it's not compatible you know we will see that in action so that is what our test case is so our test case is like so the prerequisite is like you need to have these log chain folders and you have a backup image with the oldest log chain then what i'm going to do is restore the database first so that's the first command obviously 
So I'm going to go there. Uh, yeah, here. So paste, restore. And this is going to take maybe two to three minutes. I'm not sure though, because this is going to be a virtual machine. It's a very, it's not that super fast. So I'm using like a basic laptop. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My throat is getting dried up. Okay, so let the restore happen. So we'll just discuss a little bit about this one in the meantime. So every restore will create this um, log chain folders and sometimes there will be continuity. So if you are doing, say for example, C00 is up to 35 and C002 will start from 36 to 37, 38. It can happen that way too. So it's la it depends on how you restore the next time, you know, from between C00 and C001 what kind of restoration you do. So if you do, for example, a point in time restore, say for example, zero to 35 is there, but what I did was in C001, I used that backup image and restored it till only a particular point in time, which was like, like a, it restored only up to, it rolled forward only up to eight dot log. After that, I have created all these transactions. So this is like two different incompatible uh, log chains like that, okay? So it depends on like, whether the log chain is compatible or not based on the LSN numbers and other things. So, so that's the, that's the concept here. I, I'll just, maybe I'll talk it, talk about that in a later video. So let's just look at the retrieval thing now. Okay. Let, okay. The restore is complete. So after that, what I'm going to do is roll forward DB to end of logs and I'm giving you explicitly an overflow log path location. Okay. And what I did was copy that and I'm going to paste that here and in home db dynasty and downloads OFL, what I did was I go to this location, take this zero to 35 because that's the C00 chain. So zero to 35, I have taken that and I have put it in the downloads OFL folder zero to 35. These are the same files. Just trust me here. Believe me here. Okay. These are the same log files and look at what happens when I run that command. Okay. So obviously this is with the no retrieve option, right? So what it is going to do is after the 35 dot log. So if you look at here, after the 35 dot log, it's going to look for 36 and it's going to look for 36, obviously in this location. So 36 is obviously not there. It will go here. 36 is not there. It will go here. 36 is there it may be an incompatible thing and it's going to, it's going to show, see, it did that. The archive log file 36 is not associated with the current log sequence. That's what it's going to tell. So how do you uh, uh, prevent this? Like how do you solve that? All you need to do is use the option no retry. So I'm just going to give that right click, copy and just go and paste. Okay, I should have done end of logs and complete also in one shot, but that's okay, fine. So we'll do in two steps. It's not a problem. With that way, I can show you like what are the log files it is like uh, going through, right? So, so it should go up to 35 and stay there, right? Up to 34, 35 and it should stay there. It should not look for 36 basically in that location. Okay. See, the next log file is 36, but it's not doing any retrieval, okay? And I, I, I'll also complete it, like, so if I complete, obviously, uh, that's done, so. Okay, then I can connect, and I can just list some tables like that, okay. Okay, you got it. And another thing to note is it should have created C003 or something like that, right? Yep, it's there. So now when I run more transactions, here it will continue 37, maybe 37, 38, 39, 40, like that. that that's the thing, okay? So, so the, the concept here is use no retrieve if you have these multiple log chains and you want to restrict 
yourself to one particular blockchain right and sometimes you don't you might be in a situation where you don't want to restrict you want to continue the flow from c00 to c001 to c002 to c0 you if you want to do that you can go ahead and do that in that case you will find that there should be a continuity in the log files also so it will be like 35 and from here it will be 36 37 38 39 and here it will be 39 40 41 42 like that in my case it's not like that but if it is like continuous it will go on you know like the roll forward command will go on because it's finding the next log file and next log file and next log file because you didn't use no retry so if you use no if you use no retry it will stop doing that that is that is the learning okay hope this was not more confusing to you um that's it that's it in this video tutorial hope this information was useful to you please subscribe to my channel youtube.com db2luw academy see you in the next video tutorial until then bye bye